Good day, everyone! My name is Sweden, and welcome back to The Outer Worlds, episode 17. Return to the quest. Friendship's due. Trask said he stashed evidence against M Hollow, a vent back in Hollow's base. It could be worth a uh, look. That is exactly what we're gonna do, because I'm not gonna kill someone who's innocent. Um, Hollow's base? I think it's Hollow's base. And then, we can make ourselves a picture of who do we wanna kill. Trask evidence. Okay, it's actually right there, so we can take a look right there as well. So, what did I miss here? The hell? Hmm. Not in this bathroom either. Even though there is a <laughs> purple bar of something questionable. Do I go around this way? No. Oh, what if it's outside? I know you're there, but I want to take a look. Of oh, would you look at that? Stash recipe. Recipes? These recipes detail a payment m made to see hello on behalf of the board. For freelancing services, including included are the names of several traders targeted by Hello's crew, their manifest, and the sum value of all cargo to board authorities. Interesting. So now I return to Hollow with Felix. Well, Felix, what do you think about that? Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. If he is with the board, are you fine with me killing him, Felix? We found evidence, Felix. Your old friend's been bought up by the board. I've been trying to tell myself Clyde's got some sensible explanation for all this, but I just don't know. None of this is making a lick of sense to me right now. I think we need to have a word with Clyde. Let's get going. I think you're right. We should get away with Clyde. So, Clyde, what do we have for your defense? <laughs> What's the word? Hello, cat. Could you not... Light when you show him Trask's ring, it's done, Trask is dead. Trask had a lot to say about you, hello. Tag your traitor. Um, lie, perhaps? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. And Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. Trust me, you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Right here. Trust gave me his word, and I'm inclined to believe him. Show him the papers. You've been bought off. I've got the rest. <laughs> Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You think you owe Felix an explanation? Perception when we w met, you told me Trask was informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. I'm done arguing with you, Trask. Trask. Trask was right. You deserve to die. Come on, Hollow. Why would Trask rat you out? to your own employers. How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. It's like we're doing this! Wow. Look, he's a midget. Well, I'm actually gonna die. Wow. That's the last of them! <laughs> I turned him into a midget, what the hell? Also, I'm a little hurt. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna sniff that up. Well. 
so much for that. It's a one-one situation for me, I guess, because now everyone's gonna die. Hmm. I don't know if there's still stealing if everyone's still mad at me. Hello. <laughs> oh, you didn't have to kill him like that. I wanted to shoot him. Hello. I could steal all that stuff, couldn't I? Yeah, I can. Heads up, boss! How's it going? And now you're dead. You and your grenade launcher, my god! Uh, <laughs> everyone all right? Yeah, with your grenade launcher you killed everyone. Jesus. I have a feeling you guys won't let me leave here alive, so I'm just gonna... ...try and defend myself. I mean, you're not gonna engage. You gonna engage though? I think you are. No? Okay, bye. See you later. Last guy. <laughs> oh, wait. oh god, come back here! No, damn it! So, Felix, how do you feel after we killed your friend? This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. I'm sorry. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You're just going to have to come to terms with that. You never really know what's going on inside somebody's skull. Don't look at me, Felix. You're just going to have to live with it. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Lesson here is to not look up to anyone. I can understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Money changed people. The board probably offered Hollow a lot of money. You probably feel betrayed. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. It'll pass. Give it time. Get drunk for a start. Cry me for a river, Felix. Let it pass. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. I don't know what I believe anymore. Maybe it's better that way. Thanks for your time, boss. I I kind of feel shit now because I didn't really help you. Hello, Nyoka. Oh yeah, we still gotta do you as well. I forgot, I gotta do everyone here except Sam. Okay, so I load up one more time. So, can we- Oh, perks, nice. Gain some tactical time dilation meter when you kill an enemy. 25% tactical time duration restore per kill. That seems pretty powerful. And now that we have these, we have the tie three ones. Okay, we need intimidation 65. So I'm just gonna get on to 65 like that. And then lie one more time. And that, my friends, is how you level up. And now we can go back to the city of the stars. You learned that you learned to discover the Ministry of Accuracy and more along with her, whatever human work was working on. Okay, and we will try and go back there again and talk to the asshole to say, Hey, fuck off, asshole. I am a dirty, autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? Tell me you've seen worse. Ah, oh, um, we'll continue this later. Stop having robot sex on my bridge! God damn it, Ada and Sam. I mean, Sam, you're not doing anything, you're just cleaning him. But, Ada, be appreciated. We are now in orbit above okay, the that didn't make sense. Captain. Show a little respect, damn it! <laughs> Greetings, customer! Greetings, Sam! Alright, I'm done with this shit. You done yet or not? X-36 clearance only beyond this point. <sighs> and you're still not cleared. Let me through right now, or your official record won't be fit for polishing floors. What? Waste my time and I'll bury you to deep in the uh, citations. You'll die of paper cuts before you ever call out. <laughs> 
Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I'm so sorry. No one told me you were coming. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? I agree. Good that we have known our ways. Before everyone gets mad at me, let's save. Because I don't like people getting mad at me. Sure, I might as well kill them all. But we can go here civilized. Yeah, that's what I thought. Up da -da, just a normal guy ordering an elevator. Nothing to see here. Last time I was here, I killed everyone. And whenever I did something, it was like, Wait! Stop right there, you thief! Anyways, let's see what's in the basement. Oh, shit. Restricted area requires ID, the board. What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results were 0.003% different this time. Do the words statistically insignificant mean anything to you? Of course, but we're obligated to explore every possibility. We're obligated to get a working formula before Akande has us all in tanks to help test the next batch of samples. Now get to work! Does any of you have the ID of the board? Because I'd like to borrow that. If you don't, I might as well go the long way. If I go this way, I could avoid most of them. We'll see. Nice. There's two more there, though. One is poaching, one is nearby. Okay, keep them quiet. One is there, one is there. I have a feeling I'm gonna get spotted, so I'm gonna save here before I get any closer to death. Because I remember last time. Actually, I don't. Oh, shit. So much for that. Yep, good thing I saved. Mom? Thought I saw something. Here they come! We're pretty good at this! Can I put away the gun? Okay, I can. Thank you for not doing anything. Huh. Nothing to see here. Just keep on going. Excellent. Damn, look at all those frozen earth people. I was one of them. There's an elevator right there. Bad? You gotta be kidding me! I'm right there! Oh my god, you mean- You mean to tell me I need to go to the heavy security? For fuck's sakes, there's gonna be a blood bloodbath. Uh. Okay, there's a drone there. Medical drone. Golper trooper. Hmm. This sucks. This really fucking sucks. Is there no other way? This is bad. I could try and go that way. No, that seems bad as well. Shit. So much for nice sneaky and quiet. Um. I feel like there's a mistake, cause I'm killing the gods now, and this planet will hate me then. Here we go. There's no other way through it, unless of course. What? Huh? What was that? Nothing. You wanna walk over here? <laughs> oh my god, this is too easy. Incoming. <laughs> Well, so much for that. Oh, Booski. Come on. 
Hit it. There you go. There we go. You guys done yet? I know you guys are mad at me, but I had to do it. You guys literally forced me. So, what do you guys have? Except stuff. <laughs> you guys are still on the ground. Wake up, soldier. This ain't no time to die. S wake up. <laughs> Damn it. I'm alone now. Oh well. I'm overpowered. No one can stop me now. Oh, with this weapon at least. Hello. Oh well. It's over there on that side. Hmm. Now there's a question, how do I get there? Hello, medical droid. You're still sleeping. Oh, you guys are awake. <laughs> Welcome back, soldiers. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Can I get down there, perhaps? And... Nailed it. My ankles! But, we made it. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I shall wake you up. The city and the stars. So. Uh, so fuck side. I'll take it. Um, do I... What do I do with it? Oh, transfer terminal. Well. Transfer. Okay, go ahead. Transfer 100%. Transfer. If I... If I transfer 100%, aren't they gonna die? Experimental details. Hmm. Was that enough? Achieved the southern side. I didn't want to kill these guys. I feel like that's the lesser evil. Okay, time to get out of here, Phineas. Yeah. All because of this bad door. You guys wanna bear that door. No one was just gonna die. But no, you had to bear it. Oh, this was a store. Well, don't mind me. I am back! You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I'm just getting started. I got your attention at least. You mean stumping around the colony pretending to know what I'm doing? <laughs> Let's skip the pleasantries. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. I'm listening. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Hmm. Alright, convince me. Wanted for what exactly? The answer is no. We're done here. Hmm. Wanted for what, exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You want me to sell him out? I never liked the guy anyway. Not free, f not for free. The answer is no. We're done here. Either. Hold on, getting a lot of noise on the signal. Could you fuck off and never call back? You want me to call sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. Hmm. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells's terminal. When you're done. Come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. That was strange. Yeah, but I'm not in. Is she tracking me? Oh shit! I don't want to. I don't want her to track her. <sighs> she better not be tracking me. 
Please arrive at Phineas's orbital lab. Yeah, but are we tracked? Are we followed? Ada? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Do you know anything? No? Okay, um... I'll be here. I think we're good, right? Hey, boss. I want to talk to you. What is it, Felix? If we wanted the board's attention, we got options. Piracy, vandalism, maybe some light arson. We want to put some fear in the board, right? Get them scared of us. The board's got plenty of reasons to fear us. I'm trying to develop a working relationship with the board. I'd rather have the board suspect also their money. Um... I do like money, and I do want the board's respect. Do they need to fear us? Mm, not really. Then I would be nothing better than the assholes I'm fighting right now. Board don't know the meaning of the word respect. The only language they understand is exploitation. You just got an audience with Sophia Conde. That's the adjutant to the chairman. <laughs> you sure we should be trusting her? I don't need to trust her so long as she pays for my work. The urgent is an upstanding professional, Felix. Don't be suspicious. Probably not. There's a good chance she's using us. Yeah. If you think she's using us, why'd you give her the time of day? Why'd you give her the time of day? If I ever have to kill her, I want her to recognize my face. I've got a plan, Felix. Just trust me on this one. Are you going somewhere with us? Hmm. He did lose his friend, and he trusted him, and he betrayed him. Are you going somewhere with this? I know we're freelancers and all. We take work where we can find it. But we gotta be vigilant, you know? This is how the board gets you. A job here, an errand there. Before you know it, you're calling him sir and ma'am. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, Felix. Your warning has been noted. Hmm. Your warning has been noted. I appreciate your time. Let's get back to it. <laughs> I appreciate your time. Let's get to it. <laughs> Oi. Wait a minute. Communication terminal. Why should we look at this before talking to Phineas? Phineas! You want to tell me what's going on? I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Forget, forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony is on the verge of collapse. I found your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Oh, they were testing on them. I thought, hmm. Then I, then maybe I should have taken 100% to end the suffering. Shit, I thought that I could... Mm. <sighs> Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. These are all the chemicals I could get anymore, and I would have killed the subjects. Damn, that's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know... The colony's on the verge of collapse. The board's been trying to cover it up. I know. I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colonies to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. Gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every work on in Halcyon. The board's got a plan to save us. They're going to freeze. The <laughs> They're not saving us. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse, and the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself. I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a systems collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. 
We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. So that's it. We just give up. All that trouble I went through was nothing. For nothing. This call is a mess. I'll be glad to put it behind me as soon as I get a chance. We need to think about this. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Science Warrior, there's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could get the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! Thank you. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. June 25, the hope's probably damaged. We'll have to reroute. We'll have to route power from the unreliable. much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. Yeah. I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is, if we're gonna hijack a colony ship, count me in. Yes, excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain for a raise. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate <clears throat> the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Nice, and then we'll have a small army of elite soldiers like myself. I'll do it. Wait, I've got some questions. This plan is insane. I need some time. To, um, um, I got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Is there any questions I have, really? Should I expect any resistance? Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2. Yeah. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker. But compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. You're right. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Just so we're clear, you know a skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, no more questions, I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. The uh, Julietans asked me to plan a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do that. You absolutely should. W Excuse me?
Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Sarcasm. The last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. That is excellent. I get it. You want to prepare. You're sure you're okay with us? I'll take... You're good. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. <laughs> Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Excellent plan, Phineas. I wanted to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Should I expect... Uh, that's it. Okay. Ooh! Now what does it feel like? So you always have a question for me. Also, should I get on that computer? Hope stalking bay. Okay. So skills. Uh yes. I everyone needs to be leveled up. Defense, pursuit, and uh lie. Stealth, tech, and leadership. Now I wanna level up um lie as well, just so we have it. Now, Felix, what is your level up? Uh, let's see. Chance of ability, harmful status effect duration, 25% for 5 seconds, tossable weapon damage. Okay. I think I can take the harmful status effect duration. There we go. Poverty, what about you? Chance to reset ability, harmful status reaction, auto mechanical damage received. Ooh, that is pretty and not bad. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Very cool. Hope so, mate. So, what about the computer, please? Can you find Wallace's communication terminal and send a tracking signal to Sophia? Like kind of Phineas mentioned, you could send a corrupted tracking signal to buy him some time. Excellent idea. Let's corrupt it, shall we? What's this? Extinguish plasma cutter before returning to pocket. Okay. Uh, send tracking signal. Send corrupted tracking signal messages. Yeah, send corrupted. Tracking signal. Return to route. <laughs> nice. Messages. Okay, that's pretty much it. Ah, oh, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. Yeah, no problem. You rescued me. I'm only here to rescue you. And we're in this together. The board is actually pissing me off with all the commercials they have. And uh, I want to have a normal galaxy universe here. You know, us talking, not without any fucking uh, company talking like, this has been sponsored to you by this bullshit. I don't give a shit. Sponsoring my ass. Honestly. Captain, you have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. <sighs> Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Interesting. Byzantium's a big place. Wait, I've got questions. I have questions. How do I know this isn't a trap? How do I know this is- I've got questions. Transmissions are so impersonal. I'd like to meet you face to face. Mm. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. I don't trust you. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Thank you, Ada. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't trust her at all. So... Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. Thank you very much. It was, um, it was Finia's idea. He is very clever. So, Terra 2. Hmm. And now is the question, what is our main objective? Long distance, Sophia was pleased with your results and requests that you come and see her in Byzantium. Oh boy, land your ship in the one of the Hope's docking bays. Okay. Long distance, here we go. I, hmm. Fine. So be it. I drew the kind of landing pad. Okay. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I don't like this, but here we go anyways. Uh, Felix and Poverty, the good old crew. Nice building you got here. Hmm. 
No one's. No. Oh. I killed you guys plenty of times. Don't make me kill you as well. Uh, fantastic. This is a trap. Not so fast. What is it? All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. Okay, good thing you didn't take my weapons. <laughs> Don't mind me selling real quick. What do you want from me, Sophia? Is it a trap? Is it a bargain? Is it something against Sunius? Or do you really hold on to your word and you want to talk about the board? Oh, this is this place. I remember. How may I be of assistance? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were a good joke last time. How's it going? This was locked last time, but here we go. Okay. Oh, boy. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said... He's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Tell me why you wanted to see me. Good, I've been meaning to turn him in. What's going to happen to Eld? Tell me why you wanted to see me. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking. Even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I mm. imagine you have questions. Not really. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. So that's your solution? Put the whole colony on ice? People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. No, Mr. Millstone, you will not. The workers of Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. Oh boy, I'm all ears. Just tell me what you need done. We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. Hmm. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Are you out of your mind? We're not gonna murder a town of innocent people. You will do exactly as you're told, or I will have you shot for insubordination. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. I don't understand. What did Edgewater do to deserve this? You are completely insane. The answer is no. I don't understand. Why did Edgewater to deserve this? You replaced a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. Why me? We're talking about in human lives here. The boat is responsible for this colony. This is all your fault. I'm curious on why she's asking me, but she's probably going to say, Oh, you're really fucking good. You're the strongest player in the entire galaxy, and you're right about that. We're talking about human lives here. 
The dissidents currently occupying Edgewater answer to no one. They're an unknown, unpredictable variable, and I can't have that. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Allies people are self-sufficient. They're not a strain on the colony's resources. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. I don't want my friends and uh, Phineas hate me. And it is a wrong thing to do. My friends were correct. They are all innocent people and I should not murder them. But now it's a question, what do I want to say? You're completely insane, or the answer is no. The answer is no, she's gonna shoot me, and maybe even worse. You're completely insane will offend her, and maybe shoot me as well. I'm gonna say, you're completely insane. How about that? Because they are innocent people, and I'm not about to murder all of them. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. No, I couldn't imagine me killing all those people. I can imagine killing you guys on the board, but not innocent people. The answer is no. Let's get ready for a fight. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you, and I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. You made your point. I'll do it. I don't really have a choice, do I? Go to uh, Sophia. I don't really have a choice, do I? Not true. You can choose to say... Yes, ma'am, or at once, Madam Adjutant, or as you wish, or even I'll take care of it. <laughs> Go to hell. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Here they come! this all day! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alright, you guys fine? I love this weapon. Oh my god. Love it. Next time I'm gonna use a assault rifle. Hello there, what do we have here? <laughs> stuff! I love stuff! Sorry that I killed you, my friend, but you had to die. So, what is going on in here? I mean, except you being dead. <laughs> Uh, 53! Wow, I'll take it! Thank you very much! Is there anything better than mine? Holy shit, this stuff is powerful! <laughs> oh, poverty! You're gonna like this! Holy shit, that is powerful! Here you go! Felix! Let's see. Yours is at 38. Uh, that's a shame, I'm sorry to tell you this, but... I did not have another set. Hmm. Damn it! Okay, at least you look amazing with that suit. What about you, Poverty? Yeah, you look amazing as well. Nice! We are now way more powerful because we killed these guys. I'm- I'm glad I did this choice. I wouldn't have felt good killing all those innocent people. Now there's a question, I need to go back to the main entrance and that's gonna be a hell of a fight. So, let's get on with it. I hope Phineas doesn't have a problem with me doing all this. Because I did want to do the hope and all that stuff, but... 
Here we go, killing some bad guys. How's it going? Oh, you guys are bad. That doing that doesn't help. 69 times 8, and this only does 40, well, 39 times 8. Hell yeah. I want to check this out to see how powerful it is. I wouldn't charge that if I were you. Oh well. We all did it. Oh god damn it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, what the hell? I was about to say, why the fuck did you just close and the game was saving? I'm like, wait a second, what's happening? Door close this game is saving. Wait. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. Bap. Bap. Oops. That's what you get. Score one for Felix. <laughs> Score one for me, Spooner. Well, that was exciting. I think we're done here for today. You killed the adjutant? We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. Yeah, we sure are. But don't worry. We'll be fine. Hope Docking Bay. Because we're gonna take over this place. Oh yeah, I need to level you guys up. Wait a minute. Oh no, okay, never mind. Location discovery experience. Yeah, sure, why not? That seems alright to me. Vicar Max, how's it go? Oh shit, you have nothing. <laughs> that generated that um, base health, yes. There you go. And range damage, armor rating, melee damage, dialogue, combat effective, duration. Um, I think that seems pretty useful. Chance to reset ability, companion ability, equip time, signs of weapon damage. I think this one. Chance to reset ability, home full status, uh, trick shot, ignores 50% armor rating. Holy shit. Not bad. And Sam, of course, you as well. End ray damage received. Okay. Um, yeah, why not? Seems useful to me. And next time we're gonna do the quest. Kept secret but not forgotten. Land your ship in one of the Hope's docking bays. And we will continue there. I'm gonna fly to the Hope and we'll do that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I did. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun, joy, and good talk. Thank you.